After a gunman opened fire at a historic black church in Charleston, South Carolina, nearly two months ago, it sparked a conversation across the country over the symbolism of the Confederate flag. That's because the man behind the crime was seen posing in pictures with the flag, which is also viewed by many as promoting racism rather than Southern history. The debate prompted many industries to stop the sale of merchandise showing the Confederate flag, including NASCAR. WY's Samantha Potter is live at Watkins Glen International Racetrack with what the Confederate flag means to some NASCAR fans. Hey there, Jennifer. So whenever attending a NASCAR event, whether it's in Daytona or right here in Watkins Glen, you can expect to see Confederate flags flying in the grandstands or on top of campers. And while some may think it represents racism in America, some NASCAR fans say differently. Heritage. Heritage, yeah, it's about, you know, it's heritage, it's history. You know, it's not racism, it's... It has nothing to do with racism. It doesn't do with that. You know? Heritage, not hate. I don't hate nobody. Every summer, hundreds of flags fly inside the campground at Watkins Glen International. Flags for fans to cheer on their favorite drivers and flags to show American pride, including the Confederate flag. And I don't see that at all as being a, a bad thing. It's more about people trying to show, talk about their heritage because it is part of America's heritage. Half the people fought in the Civil War and we all came to be one in the United States of America. As the flag sparked controversy over it representing racism in America, big industries took a stand and pulled selling merchandise with the Confederate flag. NASCAR saying they will continue to disallow the use of the Confederate flag symbol in any official NASCAR capacity. In just three miles down from the track sits this pop-up shop, selling NASCAR memorabilia and, of course, the Confederate flag. And since becoming such a controversy, the owner says he's been selling more than ever. A race on the 4th of July at the Daytona International Speedway, NASCAR offered an exchange program for fans to swap out their Confederate flags for American flags. NASCAR chairman Brian France says while he acknowledges fans have a right to freedom of expression, he wants to disassociate the flag from NASCAR events. If they told me I couldn't fly it, then I wouldn't come back. And I'd stay at home and watch it on TV. I mean, they're from the South. NASCAR is from the South. That's part of NASCAR. And now you may have noticed in some of those shots, the Confederate flag was flying below the American flag. And that's because the NASCAR fans I spoke to say the American flag should always fly the highest. Reporting at Watkins Glen International, Samantha Potter, WENY News.